Today I'm going to check out faceswapper.ai. It's a very simple and powerful interface that allows you to do a bunch of things to your photos such as swapping faces, clothing, there's even a video face swapper and some other tools that are a lot of fun to use and also very useful. Now face swapper are the sponsor of this video and it's free to try, there is a link in the description below. Now when you first land on faceswapper.ai, their main tools are right here on the home page. You can see we have image face swap for swapping faces. You can also swap multiple faces with the multiple face swapper. There's also the clothes swapper, so you can generate new clothes onto an existing photo. Also swap faces on videos. A face cutter, which extracts several faces from uh, group photos or several photos. And magic avatar, which creates a bunch of different avatars. If you upload an image of your face, you get a whole bunch of different images that you can use. So I'm going to start off with image face swap. So I can show you how that works and just how simple this tool is. Now it's pretty easy to get started. We come down to image face swap and we click on the arrow to bring up the interface. We can click this top right section to upload an image or I can just grab my image and drag and drop it in there. And we have this guy's face. Same with the source image. We're gonna put the face into, we can click and upload or we can drag and drop our image in. Then we get a preview of the image we're gonna insert the face into. We can also come down and do some basic editing with some of the tools, like pick out a filter if we wanna change the color. We can also change some of the lighting and basically make adjustments using all these tools on the left if we need to do that before we start. But we'll leave that for now and get into it. Although I'll quickly add, you can bin the image or upload a new one with these other two buttons. Otherwise, I've got my image here. I've got my face, my output. I'm gonna click start face swapping and see what we get. And you can see here, the face has been replaced with our input face and it has matched his features pretty closely. Now I can click this little arrow icon and download this image, or when I'm done with that, I can come down to the little magnifying glass and bring up a comparison slider so I can see the difference between the original and the new. You can see the way the nose and eyebrows, all the features change, and it also maintains a lot of the lighting on the original image. Now for a bit of fun, I tried a few other images with this same guy, and I think it did a pretty good job of maintaining a lot of the other characteristics whilst popping his face into the image. I even tried this statue here to see what it would do and actually really liked that outcome. But then I decided to switch over to this female face to see what results I can get from that and had a bit of fun. So you can see it's really captured a lot of her eyes and features and really nailed it and put it right into the image very effectively. This one here I thought was really cool. The way it matches the style of the image, you can notice things like the highlights on the face being in the same spot. And even with this last one, it has that, still has that same lit style and the skin color. Just does a great job of matching this two up. But if you have more than one face in an image, you may want to try the multi-face swapper. And that's a pretty simple one to get started with as well. So again, we scroll down, you'll see here multi-face swapper. We click on that again to bring up the interface. And then we're going to drag and drop our images in, such as our target with these two people. And then we're also going to drag and drop in another image up the top. And you'll notice any images with more than one face, you can come down and there's a little picker so you can pick which face the face is gonna be swapped into. And then you'll notice we've only changed one face in the image instead of both. And of course, we can click and save as before. And once you've saved that image, you can replace the target image with the image you just created. And that way we can change the face of the man on the left with a different face again. So I upload another face to replace this guy on the left. And then I can come down to the target image pick the correct face, make sure I turn off the face I don't want, then click start face swapping. And now I've been able to replace the face on the left also in the one image. Also I wanna add, if I upload an input image that has more than one face in it, it also gives me the option to choose which face I wanna use for the input. So that's also handy to know. But you can also have a lot of fun with faceswapper.ai's clothes swapper, which is where you go to the menu here, click clothes swapper, we upload an image for someone whose clothes we want to change, and then we come down and we just write a simple prompt of what we'd like to see their clothing changed to. But for now, I'll just test with this default, a girl wearing a black dress. And the result's actually pretty seamless here. So let's try something a little more difficult. I'm gonna enter a new prompt. We have a girl wearing a futuristic Iron Man suit made of metal and technology, big, bulky, and heavy. And let's start. And that looks pretty cool. A bit different than I expected, but still really quite cool. And naturally, I decided to throw a few different images at this woman, and it does a pretty good job of keeping everything matching in the sense that it looks like something that actually fits her. It all looks like real clothing, and overall, it does a great job of fitting it all in place. Next thing we're going to cover is video face swapper. Being able to swap faces 
on actual video, not just an image. I come down to Video Face Swapper. As before, I can add in my face image. So I'll go for this girl again. And then I wanna actually upload a video to swap that face into. So pop a video in here of someone talking. I click Start Video Swapping and I give it five or 10 minutes to process. And then we get this video with the new face applied to it. I'll pop them both side by side so we can compare and you can see the difference there and that's pretty cool. You can see how it literally has added the emotion and the movement very effectively and it's a lot more seamless than I was expecting and I'm actually pretty impressed by this. Next thing we're gonna do is actually extract several face images using the face cutter tool. Now this is a pretty handy little workflow. We come down to face cutter, we upload an image with a group of people in it. We can even keep adding images to this. So we have this image here. I can also bring in this image. And then once they're both uploaded, I just click cut all faces. And in about a second, it cuts all of the faces out of the image. And you notice this one here uh, is only got half the face because she's cut off by the edge of the frame, but the rest of them have been cut out pretty effectively. And you can see the download button. It's quite easy to go and download these one by one. And you can go through and hit the little magnifying glass icon, check them all out individually if you want to make sure they're looking the way you want to. They seem to have retained the resolution pretty well. So I think that's a pretty handy tool, especially for someone who needs to cut out a lot of images like graphic designer, something like that. Now, if you want to download all of these, you can just click on a little arrow icon or you can come up and click the download all button and download a zip file that you can easily extract. So they are then broken up into individual PNGs. As you can see, the resolution changes on each one as I believe it simply cuts it out, retaining the original resolution. And now the last one is a lot of fun, Magic Avatarly, where you get to create an avatar from your image. So we come into Magic Avatarly from the home screen. You then need to select the gender, whether it's female or male. We can go male on this one. And of course, we'll upload our male image from before. And we'll try that out by clicking Swap Face Now. And then we give it a quick moment and our avatars are ready to go. I'm gonna download them all so we can check them out. And then we get the following avatars. This looks pretty cool. The face, pretty consistent. The style is nice and varied. There's a few different examples here, but these images definitely work well with the engine and it's just a really cool little combination of different types of images. Now, some of them are a little cartoony, like this one here with the fish. This one's a little more artistic and we get some more sort of photographic type styles, or this one a little bit different, and just a lot of fun to play with. But let's try it out with our female photograph. So I have female selected on the agenda, and I'm gonna choose our female photo to go in here. I click swap face now, and again, we get another 12 images. So a few different female characters this face has been put onto, and the results are pretty incredible. Her face looks pretty spot on, Everything on these images is just very seamless and they did a great job with it. So this whole tool can be a lot of fun for using it the way you want to, but if you're just looking to have a bit of fun and create some cool avatars, this can be just something very fun for you to pop on your social media or just to do something creative with a photo of your face or someone else's. So those are the main tools of Face Swapper AI and it's really powerful. You can try it out for free. You can use it if you're someone who needs tools like this for work or you like the face cutter or you need to switch, switch faces out for characters or any kind of use or even just to have fun and create your own avatars. This is a great tool to, to use and the interface makes it incredibly simple. I wanna thank Face Swapper AI for sponsoring this video. As you know, I only accept sponsorships from people who I think have a good product. So check them out with the link in the description. Otherwise, that is the video for today, guys. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.